was live stream last night. We're talking about ages or something like that. Hell, the one guy is really young, and I'm like, I said, well, I'm 57, and a couple people said, no, you can't be 57, and I go, well, I'm 57 now. Oh, you're so pretty, you look so good for your age. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. You say so. I'm just me. You know, when people tell me that I look young for 48, I think, I don't know. I guess it's because I still have a little bit of I didn't think you were 48. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't think you were 48. When I see my friends, my friends that drank or they did drugs, holy Me fuck. too. Yeah. I think, I yeah. think, holy shit, dude, I look like I'm in fucking high school compared to these dudes, and some of them are years yeah. younger than me, not not the same age as me, There's some of them are younger than me, they look old as fuck, like, it's Oh yeah, crazy. it's the same with me, I'm, yeah, I'm I see glad I one's got different ages, <laughs> it's like, wow. wow, I drank, well, I got into well, a, I got into a few things, but I've been clean for like 15 years, doing drugs you look old as fuck sometimes you do yep you do you really do you do i got a cousin that's like that like when i look at her i can't believe it's even the same person like i don't really talk to her so when i see her i just see like how much worse she is and i'm just like god damn she looks like she's my grandma not my cousin no she's the same age yeah i i've i've seen that with I've seen that with friends of mine when I've been on the block, you know, and I'll see certain people, and, you know, and then I'll see somebody that, you know, I'm, I went to high school with, and it's just like, wow, they don't even look like the same person anymore. It's like, Crazy. get off the block, go home, you know? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I told Journalism Awakening today, we were talking about smoking. People quit oh, yeah. smoking cigarettes by using weed. I told him I smoked chop, so I can't do that. I don't want one without the other. Yeah. I gotta have weed in yeah. my in my cigar tobacco. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people will put a little bit of tobacco in their weed so it burns better, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, I was doing that and I tried to quit smoking, so I had to stop putting uh, tobacco in my joints. I told him. I told, him I, was gonna, <laughs> told him I was gonna start doing crack. He goes, Jesus Christ! Oh, no. <laughs> said, oh, no. I told him, isn't that a gateway drug? <laughs> he was dying. Sure, yeah, because I never yeah. did drugs. So yeah, I was the worst one I've ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> I had my chances though. A lot of my friends do it. I just, my dad did it, and then my dad died when he oh, was yeah. like 56, 57. Wow, that's young. I'm gonna feel bad now. God damn it! Shouldn't have brought this up. But okay, you're gonna hear it anyway. It's gonna keep you from doing it ever again. <laughs> My dad didn't do drugs for like 20 years. Oh, I've never smoked that stuff. No, no, I've never oh, touched that stuff. My dad did meth. Oh. My dad did crank back in the day. Like, then, oh wow. Yeah. So, and he used to shoot it up. Oh, wow. so my dad was a big time drug addict, guys, and then he quit doing drugs. He did not do drugs again. He didn't do drugs for like 20 years, but he still died from doing drugs back then. His whole body shut down when he was like 57. Oh, it will, yeah. yeah. Just because that's, you quit doing sad. it. Yeah, you gotta it's not still ever do it, guys. You gotta not ever do it. Yeah. Because it's, so yeah. that's how I look at it. I've never done it. I'm fucked up enough without having those kind of problems. Like my back's all jacked up. Got horseshoe yeah. kidneys, so I've had to be real careful my whole life about anything that I put in my body. That might be, that yeah. might have been what kept me from even trying it. So, yeah, people, I hear you. So, yeah. So, I've yeah. lost a lot of friends to ODs and bad shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had to tell some, some of really my buddies. Friends. I've had to tell some of my buddies. I can't hang out with them. Anymore. Oh, yeah. Backstabbers. Oh, I've seen yeah. people do the fish right in front of me. Yep. Yeah, I, I right I've if seen you're it gonna all. do that stuff, the what saddest thing for me was watching my dad die, and I'm Somebody not gonna watch you. Yeah. So if you're gonna do that shit, exactly. you're not talking to me no more. I'm not gonna watch you kill yourself. Exactly. I've said that before. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've said that to people before. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to do. But some times you have to. Yeah. Oh, come on in. Scares me. Love tree. I hate when my friends. Love tree. 
This is a good tune, Sonny. What's he got on there now? Love Train, the OJs. Of course I can't hear it. Oh man, love the OJs. The OJs. Look at Dodo just a bebopping over there. This mic's directional. If you're standing in front of it or behind it, it'll pick you up. You gotta be real careful. Ah. Plus, if you run it in front of a wall like I do, this uh, workbench I have, it has a pegboard wall in the back. Mm -hmm. That wall is what allows me to use this microphone for me and Papa Willie. I don't have to have two mics. I can, it, for some reason, ah. it's really perfect. So I angle it the right way and it picks him up and me up perfectly. Right on. Yeah, the reverb, I guess, bouncing off the wall, it really helps. Being that close. So I have it turned down. It's turned. It's only turned probably a quarter of the way up. Like it'll, it'll get loud if I turn it up. But I don't know which buttons to turn, so I just start twisting shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's got knobs and buttons all over it. I don't know which one to turn. Join the love train. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. I grew up with all kinds of different music. All kinds. I love all kinds of music except for opera. Oh, I love opera music too. Oh, I love classical music. Oh, man. I love it. Love it. I'll listen to anything. Opera, classical. All right, people on the um, I can't listen to too much of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the love train. I think it's because my grandma used to play them Italian records when I grew up. They were singing Italian and it sounded oh. like <laughs> This is an old <laughs> steely dan The old days. The early ones. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Well, I guess that's it for this video. Just want to say thanks for watching.